is one of Chicago's very own Susan Moore. Summer cold. I don't have a coke habit. I'm a comic. I can't afford a coke habit, okay? So just so you know, this is a cold. Now, I'm, before I start, I gotta see these nails. I'm a little bit of a fashionista, so he was mentioning it. These are nice, girl. And they do match your dress. He was mentioning it for, I'm like, when I get up there, I gotta check those nails out before I start doing some comedy. So, ooh, and the toes, people! The toes! Whole set over here. Did a little detail on the eyeglasses. You just have everything going. You just... Now, the other thing I want to ask, is somebody's birthday today? Is there a birthday? Happy birthday! You're the reason there's cake in the room, right? Now, who brought the cake? Oh, I love you. But I just gotta... Hold on now. I gotta give a hug to my cake girl, okay? Because, see, cake people are my people, okay? I don't care who you are. I don't care what color. I don't care where you come. I don't care what language you speak. If you got cake, like this. I kill for you. And the cake. Till it's gone. Then I gotta find a new, a new cake person. You know how it is. I love my cake. I, please, you can see. This is the only thing I got that's bought and paid for right here, okay? That's not, that's not even on credit. That, I own that. Outright. So Mother's Day is coming up. I hate Mother's Day. And I'm sure you all are great mothers, so uh, clap it up for yourselves. I'm sure you all are good. You treat your kids good, you love them, and you teach your mind. But see, my mama is crazy and white trash, so that didn't happen. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here for Mother's Day. What I'll do is to help you all appreciate your own mothers. I'm going to tell you a few stories about my mama. And then by example, you can feel good about yourself. See, by through my pain, others can find joy. And that's, you know, that's what Jesus tells you to do. So, I'm just doing the work of the Lord up here, people. That's all I'm doing, all right? Amen, amen. amen to that. That's right. Jesus is everywhere. I know he's seen me do some stuff. So, I, little stories about See, he's, I, that's why I know he still loves me, because I've done stuff, and I ain't no bold of light and hit me in the head yet, so... I know that it's full of love. It's a world of love. Well, see, I don't understand how he sent me this mama, because that's what I was talking about, right? I was talking about my white trash mama. Okay, so when I was a little baby, the first crazy thing my mom did was about one month old was she shot the puppy in the face. Oh, no! In the house. <laughs> Had to clean all that crap up. And then my family said, you know what? We don't want to upset her. And so their plan was to just not talk about it in case she wanted to, like, you know. So then she drowned the kittens in the tub. I wish I was telling you a lie, people. I am not telling you a lie. Woman drowned five kittens in the tub. And still, the family said, let's not say anything about it. So I'm two and a half years old, okay? Now I'm two and a half years old. My mama takes the family car, okay? We live on a she drowned.
introduced me to an 18-year-old man. Bring him home to my house. Mm -hmm. Let's make it all involved with this man. That's his name, right? Right? You don't let your 13 dollars go be hanging around with the 18-year-old man. I'll tell you, this day is still the biggest penis I ever saw in my life. Thank you for letting me get 